The emergence of COVID-19 has caused a lot of secondary problems. Statistics show a significant spike in addiction, domestic violence, mental health problems, and suicide. Maybe you've noticed this too and want to make a difference but feel unqualified. Many people want to help but believe they're not equipped to do so. Plus, approaching the treatment and the healthcare world can seem a daunting and overwhelmingly complex task. While these things are true, there's really only a handful of key things necessary to beginning a treatment center. You might just be more qualified than you think. qualification is having a basic understanding of addiction or just recognizing a need. So if you're able to look around and see in your community, in your neighborhood, that there is a problem that is escalating, if you have a heart that can recognize where those people that are vulnerable to mental health issues or to abusing substances uh, are, are present, well then you have the first qualification because in order to meet a need you have to recognize it. Now, if you're not noticing these things, then maybe it's time to look around because chances are, if you aren't directly affected by addiction or mental health or these issues that are occurring uh, really nationwide and, and around the world, then begin to, begin to peel your eyes and look around because there's a lot of people that are hurting and that are in need. So if you're able to identify those needs, that's the first qualification because then you can begin developing some interventions, some strategies for meeting them. The second qualification is knowing how to solve problems. When it comes to addressing whether mental illness or in particular addiction, you have to be able to identify all the factors that are affecting a person and causing them to be in this trap. And so that relates to their relationships, it relates to the social environment that they're in, that relates to psychologically the vulnerabilities that they have if they're dealing with anxiety or if they're dealing with depression, if they're excessively stressed. Um, that has to do with medical conditions, things that compound and, and make the situation worse because they're dealing not only with mental issues but also physical, physiological issues. And even the spiritual dimension of that, whether that is formally in a religious sense or just because of a lack of, of values or a lack of identity development, all of these things contribute to the disease of addiction and contribute to mental health deficiencies, which can lead to incidents of domestic violence, incidents of suicide. So being able to solve problems, being able to put your finger on what's missing here or what's wrong or what needs to be corrected, that is an important key qualification in starting and operating a treatment center and beginning to make changes. The next qualification is being committed and determined. So as you, I'm sure you're aware, addressing these types of problems um, is a challenge. There are a lot of interlacing factors that combine to create complex issues. And so being able to be committed to see a resolution through the end, beginning to help someone that may not want help, that is struggling to recognize their need. Maybe they're dealing with denial or maybe they're dealing with uh, a systemic issue within their family. Being determined and pressing through and continuing to, to provide aid and to provide support and to provide resources for these people are going to make a massive impact. And if you don't have that commitment, if you don't have that determination, then you're not going to stick it through to the, to the long, uh, through the long course because it takes a while for these changes to begin and for a person to be settled firmly in a recovery lifestyle. So commitment and determination are necessary. Another qualification is maybe you've experienced recovery yourself. Maybe you're a recovering addict or maybe you're recovering from uh, some kind of mental illness. This could be yourself directly or maybe you have just been impacted. Maybe you've seen a friend or a family member recover. And through that process, you've learned something that works. You know this is helpful. Now that, that might be that you're a therapist and you already have a wealth of knowledge and a very deep treatment toolbox. If so, excellent, you're off to a great start. Or maybe you're simply familiar with your local AA meeting and the principles of the 12 steps. Those are pivotal, uh, important pieces of setting someone on the right path to beginning to restore their life. Whichever it is, if you have something to give to an addict in need, 
then you're qualified. Next qualification is being resourceful. This means that you know how to gather resources and that might be staff, it might be a location somewhere that you can perform some kind of service, it might be getting together education materials, you know all of these things are integral parts of putting together that resourcefulness helps you to put together a treatment team, a team that can consist of, of physicians, of, of clergy, of educators, of um, resource providers. All of these things are necessary. And so if you are someone who can pull together those that, that can fill the gaps, then you're qualified. Um, another qualification is being able to surround someone with layers with sources of support because this is a difficult journey and people need help they need that assistance and so that could be formally like as a maybe you're a targeted case manager or a community support associate or it could be informal simply by helping someone with with their education helping someone to find a job helping someone with transportation helping someone with food with with clothing with housing you know it's very difficult to get into recovery when you don't have food to eat and a roof over your head so basic necessities meeting those needs surrounding someone with support is going to give them a dramatic increase in the probability that they're going to be able to recover and most importantly, and this would be the final qualification, you're passionate about helping people. You care. If you have a heart to do this and you feel led to do this, then you're qualified. So if you have all these elements, you're fully qualified to start a treatment center. The only thing lacking then is connecting with a guide that can help you to navigate the regulatory, the licensure, and the administrative processes, because those can be complex, but someone that can show you the way through that will help you to, to put those pieces together. So if you see a need, if you have some ideas on how to solve it, and if you have a dream of making a difference by providing services or launching a treatment center, what's holding you back? You're already fully qualified. Until next time, don't just be transformed, be kinged.